On the previous episodes, we have seen our ship load its cargo and replenish its fuel while in the Black Sea. Now it's time to leave, and the only passage in and out of the Black Sea is through the Bosporus Strait. This episode is brought to you by FBS Trading Broker, the official trading partner of FC Barcelona. Okay, so as you know, we have just finished our bunkering operations earlier today, and now we're headed to our discharging port. At present, our vessel is still in the Black Sea, but by tomorrow morning, we will reach the Bosphorus Strait. Also, since we just finished our cargo loading operations the day before, the deck crew didn't really get time to clean up, which is why they're working overtime now to clean up the deck and clear up all the cargo residue that are scattered all over the ship. Anyway, once we get to the entrance of the Bosphorus Strait tomorrow morning, I'm not sure about the schedule yet, if we will transit immediately or we will be drifting and waiting for the schedule. But once we exit the Black Sea, we will be headed to our discharging port, which is in Saudi Arabia. From our previous location, it will take a little over a day to reach the entrance of the Bosphorus Strait. For bulk carriers such as our ship, cargo spillage on deck is sometimes unavoidable which is why after every loading or discharging operations, the ship's deck will need to be washed. So for now, I'm going to take my rest because tomorrow morning, I don't know, it might be called early for standby engine. So I better get some sleep because <laughs> for the past few days, I've only had very little sleep because of our very tight schedule. Okay, so. See you tomorrow. By the way, this episode is sponsored by the FBS Trading App, the mobile application that makes the trading experience both simple and profitable. In this app, you can easily control your finances, manage your funds, and analyze orders. And you can trade profitably and earn money wherever you are. If you use my special link in the description, you'll get a demo $100 as a bonus, which you can use to start trading. So download the app now and start making profits by trading with FBS Trading Broker. FBS, the official trading partner of FC Barcelona. Okay, so I just received the call and we're about to pick up the pilot for our transit through the Bosphorus Strait. I've actually passed through here a few years back and I can say that my favorite time to do this is during nighttime. Why? Well, you'll see. The coast along the Bosporus Strait has a scenic view of castles and other historical remnants dating back hundreds of years. You can see all of those if the ship passes during the daytime. At night, the scenery changes and is illuminated predominantly by the three bridges connecting the European and Asian sides of Turkey. From the Black Sea, the gateway is marked by the Yavuz Sultan Selim Bridge, otherwise known as the Third Bosphorus Bridge. Before any ship passes through, the quarantine officers will need to issue a clearance. Once that's done, the pilot will come aboard to guide the ship throughout the transit. The bridges are illuminated by colorful lights, 
which cast their reflections on the water, making the immediate vicinity appear surreal. Truly, it is a beautiful sight to see. The Bosporus, also known as the Strait of Istanbul, is a narrow natural strait located in northwestern Turkey. It forms part of the continental boundary between Europe and Asia and divides the country of Turkey by separating Anatolia, the Asian side, and Thrace, the European side. The next leg of the transit will take the ship past the Fatih Sultan Mehmet Bridge. And finally, after passing the Bosphorus Bridge, the transit through Istanbul Strait comes to an end and the ship exits to the Sea of Marmara. At this point, the pilot disembarks and the captain and the officers take over and continue with the navigation. We finished maneuvering through the Bosphorus at around 1.30 in the morning and I've had a few hours of sleep since then. But now we're approaching the entrance to the Dardanelles. Now, I don't remember exactly, but I think it takes about half a day of transit through the Dardanelles before we reach the exit point in Chanakali. And eventually our ship will be in the Aegean Sea. And since our discharging port will be in the Red Sea area of Saudi Arabia, around Jeddah, we will be passing through Suez Canal. So once we exit the Dardanelles, it will take, I don't know, probably around three days before we reach Suez Canal. The Sea of Marmara offers a good view of the coast. You can see sprawling groves covering the hills. Shortly thereafter, the pilot came on board and we started our approach to the Dardanelles, which is marked by a new bridge, the Chanakali 1915, which is still under construction. The Dardanelles is a 40 mile long strait situated between Asian Turkey and the Gallipoli Peninsula of European Turkey. It constitutes a part of the boundary between Europe and Asia. Known in ancient times as the Hellespont, it is prominent in Greek legends and has been famous since early times. Its strategic importance was demonstrated in 480 BC by Xerxes I, king of Persia, who built a bridge of boats across the strait on his way to attack the Greeks. Control of the Dardanelles was a source of power and wealth for those who held it. And many battles were fought for it over the centuries. From the ship, you could see the Chanakali Martyrs Memorial which commemorates the service of about 253,000 Turkish soldiers who fought in the Battle of Gallipoli in 1915 during the First World War. As our transit ended, the pilot was set to disembark. The deck crew went on to assist to make sure that everything was done safely.
as our ship exited the Dardanelles and entered the Aegean Sea, we continued our voyage to our next port.